The Rangers acquired Fergie Jenkins from the Cubs before the 1974 season. The former Cy Young winner promised Rangers manager Billy Martin that he'd be just as great as ever. When I came in to trade, the Cubs said, well, Jenkins, uh, his arm has kind of been used up, winning those 20 games so many years. And uh, I tried to reinforce the Billy. I said, hey, there's nothing wrong with my arm. Just give me the ball. I know how to, I, I know how to still win. Jenkins lived up to his word as he made 41 starts for the Rangers that season, posting a record of 25 wins and 12 losses, ending the season with a 2.82 ERA while compiling 29 complete games and six shutouts along the way. In the last game of the season, Jim Bibby was supposed to be pitching that day, and he came down sick. Billy went around trying to find somebody who wanted to pitch that game, and nobody wanted to pitch the game. So finally, Fergie just said, oh, I'll pitch the game, I'll pitch the game. And so Fergie grabbed the ball and threw and won his 25th game on the last day of the season. So he was phenomenal. The stellar season garnered league-wide attention as Fergie finished second in American League Cy Young voting and fifth in American League MVP voting. I've caught nine Hall of Famers in my career, and he's the best. Working with Fergie was like having a night off. Great pitcher, great poise, loved the pitch.